Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create this night vision effect including a flash transition. I got inspired by the music video Hood Trap from Kerchak where he uses a lot of night vision effects combined with fast flash transitions. First, I'll show you the version using my preset pack. It literally costs less than a cup of coffee and all you need to do is drag and drop. You'll be done in just a few minutes. Of course, I'll also show you an alternative version if you want to create the effect by yourself from scratch. Alright, enough talking. Let's jump right in. I'm going to show you how to recreate this first part for inspiration. And I'm using this frame from the music video as a reference point so we can get the night vision look as close as possible. You can skip this step if you don't want to switch to After Effects. But if you do, first duplicate the clip, right click it and choose Replace with After Effects Composition. Once you're in After Effects, double click on the clip, select the Roto Brush tool and start rotoscoping your subject. When you're happy with the selection, hit freeze and then head back to Premiere Pro. If I disable the base clip, you'll see only the roto of our subject, which means now we can start adding other stuff in between. But first, let's add the night vision effect. So go to the effects panel. Once you've downloaded and imported the preset pack into Premiere Pro, just type night vision in the search bar. The pack includes three different night vision looks, a flash transition for text, a paper texture, and two extra effects that we're going to create together today. Now just pick one of the looks and drag it onto your clip. There's the classic night vision, then a version with flicker for a bit more movement, and finally version 3, my favorite. It looks the most like the hood trap video, so I'll use that one and apply it to both the base clip and the roto layer. So as you can see, with just one click we've got a night vision effect that looks almost exactly like the one in the Kerchak video, even with the flicker built in. Super quick and clean. Now we're going to move the roto layer up a bit so we've got space to drop in the paper texture and some text. The paper texture is also part of the pack so just drag it in between the clips. Right now it's completely covering the background which we don't want. So head over to effect controls and under opacity change the blend mode from normal to overlay. That instantly gives the whole shot a gritty grainy vibe. Adds a nice bit of texture to the night vision look. Now let's move on to adding some text. To start, we'll shift the roto layer up a bit so we've got some space to work with. Next, grab the text tool and type whatever text you want to add. This could be anything you need for your project. Once you've typed your text, go over to Effect Controls and expand the text panel. From there, you can change the color to whatever you like. If you want the exact same color I'm using, here's the hex code for it. Now, scroll down to the Transform section and uncheck Uniform Scale so you can stretch the text to your liking. From there, you can play around with the vertical and horizontal settings to position and scale the text however you want. You can make it taller, wider, or shift it to the right spot on the screen. Once you're happy with the look, just drag and drop the text between your clips and you're all set. So, as you can see, even though we've got the text between the clips, the roto layer isn't showing up in the foreground. To fix that, click on your roto layer, then go to Effect Controls and disable Venetian Blinds. This is something you'll want to do if you're working with roto objects to make sure everything stays visible. Now, as you can see, we're getting pretty close to the final result. But to add that extra sauce, let's add a glow effect to the text. This will make it pop even more. Now click on New Item, select Adjustment Layer and hit OK. Drag it onto the timeline and make sure the adjustment layer is about 4-6 to six frames long, then just delete the rest. Now all that's left is to apply the flash glow transition from the pack. This will give the final touch to your effect. Now let me show you the alternative version that you can create yourself without using the preset pack. You can also see how much the quick flash transition is used in the music video, so we're going to create that effect together as well. We'll start with the night vision. First, go to Effects and add Tint, Noise, and finally Mosaic to the clip. For now, disable the Mosaic effect so we can see exactly what we're working with. Now, follow my settings. Now let's add the paper texture again. I'm using my own from the preset pack, but you can totally use any free one you find online. Whatever works for you. Same goes for the text. I'm just going to duplicate mine so I don't have to redo it from scratch. And if you want your text to also have that grainy, grungy look, just move the paper texture layer above the text. 
Now I'll just disable it for a sec so we can jump into the flash transition. So once again we go to new item, select adjustment layer, hit OK and drag it onto the timeline. Just like before, the adjustment layer should be around 4 to 6 frames long, but that's totally up to you. Go ahead and delete the rest. Now let's go to the effects panel and add the following. Directional blur, alpha adjust and brightness and contrast. Now let's head over to the effect controls panel. Under directional blur, we'll add keyframes at the very beginning of the adjustment layer, one for direction and one for blur length. Then, move to the middle of the adjustment layer and change the direction to 70 and blur length to 50. Finally, we'll repeat the same keyframes at the end of the adjustment layer. Now for the alpha adjust, simply check ignore alpha. Then at the beginning of the adjustment layer, we'll add keyframes for brightness and contrast. Move to the middle and set brightness to 100 and contrast to 50. At the end of the adjustment layer, we'll reset both values back to zero. And that's it. Quick, simple, and super effective. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.